Welcome back, everybody. I want to take a minute to apologize to everyone for the pretty big gaps I've had between my first two videos from the time Riven ended to the time Mist picked up and from the Mist 1 or Mist 3 first part to this one now. Uh, work has been such a bummer recently, and so I've kind of come home sort of like demotivated and not really in the best of moods, so I didn't really want to make mediocre videos, and I figure you guys probably wouldn't want to see something where I'm more enthusiastic and, uh, I guess more interested in the stuff that we're doing, rather than just forcing out content, as I'm sure, you know, nobody really wants to see that. But in the meantime, what I did do was read the two journals that I have down below at the bottom of my screen, and it did kind of fill in some information. It's kind of hard to put it all together that, right now, though, because everything is so, so new. Uh, there's just so much stuff to to try to take in and I guess one nice feature about this new um, view if you will the way you interact with the world is that it's in a way it's easier to tell what you need to to focus on because your hand changes accordingly so this is almost like a lab it's really really strange I still don't quite understand what this portrait is. It's like a blood portrait. It's kind of, kind of weird. Like I said, though, there's just so much stuff to look at. Oh, you can step in here. Weird. Looks like a hammock. That doesn't seem like it should make sense. Because that stick is enormous, and the, f the one person, or the one object over here, should get pulled up by the other two, you would figure, right? It's weird. It's kind of morbid. I don't know what that is. Huh. Now, the other thing is that I ended up not using FF Split, which was the previous software I had used to record... Um, Riven, and of course the real miss was DirectX, so I'm going backward, that's confusing, was DirectX, so I was able to just simply use Fraps, which is what I'm doing again, because this is Direct 3D as well, so if there's anything uh, positive or negative about the way I'm recording this, definitely let me know, because I, I need to, I'm sure I'm going to watch it later on, but if you guys notice anything, I'm not going to watch my whole video. And then let's see, I don't think this is the way I came in. Or was it? Oh yeah, it was, okay. Alright, so now... It's kind of confusing when you're coming backward. Let's see, is there two different paths? Yes. Or is it two different ways to come in? Oh, that's what it is. That is what it is. Interesting, okay. So let's go over this way now. We'll go out this door. Yeah, that's a different path for sure. I wonder where this leads. I guess I'm about to find out. Which way am I? Oh, okay, I was supposed to go up this way. Huh. I do like the way that you can look around. That's nice. That's something I really wanted to be able to do in Riven. What is this? Is that a button? Or maybe it's just a light. Pretty cool light. Alright. So that's where I came down. Looks like I can go up over this way. And... Looks like I need to get a... Wait. Can I get out over there? Can I walk across those rocks? That's what I meant to try to do. Nope. Not quite. Looks like the rock almost lines up with that. Evidently that is not the case. So let me just go up here because there was the other way back that way. But that doesn't quite look as interesting as this one. So there's multiple ways I can go. So all these things line up in some fashion, but what are they representing? thing rotates, even the little globe on top. So that looks like it's lined up with the red one. Where is the red one? Oops. Didn't mean, didn't mean to right click. That's what that does, is kind of unlock your screen. Let me go back over here. 
Is this that one's yellow? Interesting. Okay. So that one's looking to the right. So looking in this people brings you to this one. Is that right? And that one, don't know what that is. Doesn't feel like it's right, though. That one's lined up with the red one as well. Where the hell is the red one? That is strange. I guess I will go back over this way now. Just to kind of explore this spot. You go up over the rocks? No, you cannot. Looks like up the stairs we go. Should be one turn to get me to the red one, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe the red one is that one right there in the middle. No, that one's blue. I guess you can... No, no, you can't. You can't really see that from here. I just don't understand. What, what am I supposed to be matching? What am I trying to achieve matching these colors? Oh. Is that the red one right there? It sure is. Weird. So that one points over to here, and so does this one. So now do I have to make this one look at the green one? No? I wonder if to... Alright. Maybe I'm onto something here. Like, do all the the peepholes have to line up to the correct... Or the, the next consecutive color? So, like, that one needs to point to this one. This one needs to point to here. The red one needs to go to the green. So, if that theory is correct, which I'm going to assume that that is what they are trying to get after here, then it's either that or the colors, like, line up in a circle, or it's going to be that the you have to point them all at one color but I don't know that you can do that maybe you can reach them all to the blue yeah that that does kinda look like the way it would work if you match them all up to one but then again you can match them all up in a line I believe yeah let's see I'm going to go down this way, and I'm going to continue that theory that you need to make them all into kind of a circle. So I will make this yellow one point to the red one. Okay. Oh, there's the stairs over there. And then this purple one. Let me step over this side. Or actually, should I step right here? I have a thought. <clears throat> So what does this one line up to? So that one is pointed to the yellow one. Okay. You can also go over here. This looks like a new spot. Alright, it's kind of... No, no, no. This is kind of where I started from. Another yellow one. And then what color was this? Blue. That one's pointed to the green one. Where was the green one? I feel like... I heard, oh, it's that one over there. So it's a triangle, it looks like. There's three globes or whatever you call it sticking out of the end there. It looks like there's only one way you can point it. And that's the green one. So they all need to be pointing to blue? No, you can't do that because there's two over there. Unless you can see them from here. Yeah, there's one over there behind this that you can't get to. Unless there's some way to like lower that. I don't know. You guys are probably laughing at my theories. <laughs> But, that's just my ideas about this game. I don't know. I guess since it's a triangle, the orientation of the way you look in doesn't really matter. 
because it should just continue to line up if I'm right, if I'm on the right track with this. making a circle or am I making them all point at one specific spot? I don't think I can do that. Huh. One other thing I wanted to do was try to provoke the guy in the tower a bit more. I want to know who he is. Oh. Oh, there we go. Confusing. See, is there another way to go? Not really. Okay. And then up the ladder. No, I guess he just kind of walks back and forth, back and forth. was the guy, though, that stole the book from Atris's study. What the hell am I doing here? 